seeing a higher than normal average of unreported overdoses. And if it's not one problem, it is another. A spike in overdose deaths is happening now in Hamilton County. There were 13 in five days last week. Health officials think it is directly linked to the pandemic. WCPO 9 News reporter Jasmine Miner explains why COVID-19 may keep those struggling with addiction from asking for help. He says it's going unreported. Not getting 911 calls. We're not transporting as many people to the hospital. What's going on? What is going on? Newtown Police Chief Tom Sinan says many people aren't calling for help when overdosing. And then they're worried about what if I go to the ER? Will I catch it? Catching coronavirus, that is. The COVID message is outpowering the message of that treatment still available. Hamilton County Commissioner Denise Driha says 35 overdose deaths occurred in March alone. You should have Narcan in the house anyway, uh, but now more than ever. Both think isolation from COVID-19 is playing a key part in the spike. It's hard for someone who I'm standing right across from to just walk away from me. Virtual is more difficult for some people and not everybody has access to virtual um, interactions. Whether it's handling those who are just getting released from jail. A vast majority active users Users before they went into jail, their tolerances will be low. Or controlling the fentanyl supply on the streets. Once those drugs hit the street, it's too late. When they go back to using, um, sometimes the same dose that they were using before can be fatal. They need you to know if you need help. There is not a day that we're not discussing how can we help people, how can we get them the tools they need. It's available. Trust me, you are not forgotten. Jazz Miner, WCPO 9 News. So if you are in recovery and need help, the addiction services hotlines right there on your screen. That number is 513-281-7422. We've also got a list of treatment options for you on our website. It's up right now on WCPO.com.